Well, and we can return now to what is our top story this evening, and that's the departure of Nancy Pelosi from Taiwan, leaving tensions soaring in the region. And I'm very pleased to say that we're joined here in the studio now by Francois Xi Sheng Wu, Taiwan's diplomatic representative here in France. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for coming into the studio to speak to us today. Um, so we have... 27 Chinese planes that entered Taiwan's yeah. air defense zone today, yeah. 22 of them crossing that median line right. that's supposed yeah. to separate the island from China. More military drills by China are planned, aren't they? So just how worried are you? Well, so uh, it's not only, I need to say, it's not only Taiwan need to be worried, but as well as the world need to be worried. Mm. Uh, because, uh, as you know, that Taiwan now has the production of the majority of the semiconductor. Uh, so, of course, we are very worried. But if chi China attack Taiwan with a military way, I think it will be the end of the world. So everyone needs to be worried about uh, this uh, military act of uh, China. Uh, this is not responsible. And, you, you know, you're talking about the potential economic ramifications of yeah. these tensions. Worth saying as well that those economic tensions are going the other way as well, aren't they? Because China's already banned the import of hundreds of food products coming out of Taiwan, an effort of, apparently to impose some kind of economic pressure on Taiwan. How bad could that be for the economy in Taiwan? For this um, uh, this action, it's, it's concerned only uh, um, uh, food production. So it's, I think it's just a very small uh, uh, just uh, action from China. For the moment, my uh, understanding is that China is not ready to, ready to go to the war. So we are just talking about the military uh, exercise. Uh, it will begin uh, uh, tomorrow. And uh, it's mean uh, it's uh, after the departure of Nancy Pelosi. So uh, even with uh, this uh, ban of uh, our food uh, production, I think it's, v it's a very very small part from China, and just want to show uh, they are very concerned and uh, they want to show that they, they have the ability to punish Taiwan. And you said you don't think that China is looking for war for the moment. For, for the, the moment. moment, does yeah, that mean that yeah. you think that they are in the future? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is, I think if we don't stop uh, the ambition of China, if we don't send them a very clear message that the world will be very concerned by their uh, unilateral military action uh, uh, toward Taiwan, then China will go to war in the future. So it is why that we need to work together, especially uh, among uh, uh, big democracy, among big power. Uh, because in the same time, uh, I think Taiwan now have this kind of uh, of, uh, of uh, image that we are a model of a Chinese-speaking society. We, 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 we prove that the democracy work, uh, even in a Chinese-speaking society, and uh, uh, the, the, the best, uh, the best uh, pro proof is uh, 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 f during the COVID-19 crisis, uh, we are very successful uh, to uh, manage the crisis uh, with a democratic way. So we have this kind of value, and uh, it deserves more support from the world. Well, you had significant support in the arrival of Nancy Pelosi yeah, yeah. in the last few days. But I, I, I do wonder, from your perspective as a Taiwanese diplomat, how, how successful was that trip? Was it worth it? We've seen tensions soaring in the region in the last 24 hours. I mentioned those military drills. So did yeah, you. So yeah. what has Nancy Pelosi's visit achieved for Taiwan and for your cause? OK, the most uh, successful point is that we need to know that the objective of China is to make Taiwan disappear. You know that uh, Taiwan have uh, hundreds of uh, uh, diplomatic uh, uh, missions in the world, but none of them have the name of Taiwan. Taiwan is a taboo. Uh, ta uh, China uh, uh, tried to make disappear also Tibet, uh, the democracy of Hong Kong. So the visits of Nancy Pelosi have made the world discussing about Taiwan. So uh, suddenly, everyone know about Taiwan, everyone discussing what happened in Taiwan, and this is the most successful point for us. Uh, worth saying, though, that y y in terms of that international recognition, there's still a long way to go yeah, of course, for of Taiwan, course. isn't yeah. there? I mean, if you, for example, you're not the ambassador to France. You are the top representative here. Is that a frustration for you personally? Yeah, of course, it's a frustration, but it also, in the same time, allow me uh, to have a more uh, uh, to have a more time to have a discussion with uh, people in France, and especially I I I, I try I, I need to tell to the world. Uh, 
if you continue to uh, accept this kind of, uh, of uh, red line made by China, just to call me a representative, we are just uh, encourage China to use uh, force against Taiwan. I'm a representative from Taiwan. It's because Taiwan don't recognize Taiwan. But in fact, I'm ambassador. I, I was also a vice minister of foreign affairs in Taiwan. So uh, it, I, I'm a, a full ambassador, but just people here or officials, they don't want to recognize me as an ambassador. But in fact, I'm ambassador.